Hello, everyone. It's Lefisra here. I'm back to play more games. And today I'm going to be playing Nancy Drew Ghost of Thornton Hall. Because I figured it's about time I played more uh, Nancy Drew games. All right. So uh, for those of you uh, who are watching me, uh, me live right now, um, I, I, if you're in my Discord, I said, like, I'm going to be streaming, like, on Wednesday, but then I had internet problems. <laughs> this past couple of days, I have internet problems. Uh, it just didn't want to work for some reason. It, keep, it keeps going in and out. Like, I have to keep restarting my modem and, and plugging it in and out. And it's really ridiculous. But whatever. <laughs> And then after that, my stream deck had a problem, which is so freaking ridiculous. Like, really, just I, I had to spend a while trying to fix that. So I couldn't stream yesterday either because my stream deck decided to have some issues. I don't know why. I think it might be an update or something. But yeah, that's just uh, what happened. And so I'm streaming today for a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to go for it, but we'll see. Let's get started. And I'm going to be playing Amateur Sleuth because I am no master. What time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later i'm sorry it can't there's been a kidnapping a girl just a little older than you <sighs> shouldn't the police be taking care of this there's only so much they can do and she needs to be found before something bad happens what do you mean the call came in for me but i can't go thornton hall is a dangerous place for people like me ghost hunters you mean so people think it's haunted mm -mm. they know Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. I mean, Nancy doesn't believe in ghosts. We all know that. So we're just going to go. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around, or that loony bin reject Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now, as ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Okay, take care. Oh, we're here at Thornton Hall and it definitely looks really creepy from the get-go. <laughs> Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah yep, Woodham I'm here me. to help. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Okay, a Is cell phone. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah, it's dead though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. 
Sorry, I was grabbing my notebook. Were you and Jessalyn getting married? I played this game before, too? and I have some like, stuff yes. written down. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Okay. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. Well, technically it was moments ago. Get going. Bye. Okay, so that's Colton, the fiancé of Jocelyn. Okay, creepy moving death. Yeah. Can I not look at anything else here? No. Oh! Never. Hey. Oh, how do I go in? I want to go into the house. Okay. I was going to explore for a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a moment. Okay. You close some windows and stuff. Electricity manual. Just tells us how to make homemade batteries. And this is like a fan picture. So this is probably the one that we want to do, right? The fruit. Okay. Okay, this is a creepy room. Hmm. And I just fixed that for I don't know what reason. Okay. I just didn't realize how creepy the music is. And the shadow figures. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Okay. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. So we have to call her, okay. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no note. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful, but so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine, but I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Oh, well, fine. I won't bother him about his issues then. Well, at least I wouldn't. But we all know Nancy. She might. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. 
Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. You can't do that right now. All right, I can spy on her stuff when she's here. Miriam Thornton. Random fireplace. Guess I can read this. The years of plenty would soon be upon the Thornton clan, but they would not come without a price. In order to keep a close watch on the production facility, Jeff had a small factory built on the Black Rock property. He did not foresee the potentially disastrous possibilities. When the winds grew cold and the waves made passage back to the mainland difficult, the workers were granted permission to stay overnight in the factory. Blanket out, none survived. Sarah was the first to enter the factory the morning after the incident and never recovered from the shock of what she found within. Many within the town held Sarah in high regard for her kind, open nature. The employees in particular had an unwavering appreciation for Sarah, who had taken on the role of caregiver once the factory moved onto the island. Affectionately calling her Nana, she would visit the factory twice a day with bread and treats, even offering a warm bed in the main house to any employee who fell ill. Shortly after the tragedy, Jap began construction of a housing unit for inclement weather and immediately restaffed the factory despite Sarah's wishes. While Jap seemed justifiably upset, he was determined to maintain the family business no matter what. When the new employees arrived on the island, Sarah retired to her room, refusing to leave until her death a few years later. It's been said that a handwritten note found in her pocket read, We have sown the black seeds of death, and forevermore will harvest only blood. Evidence suggests that this note may have been fabricated, but the chilling message remains a popular element of Thornton Law. Okay, and then Jap was hit hard by the loss of his wife, but remained steadfast in his attempts to grow the family business. Uh into something worth the tragic cost of the lives it had taken. Jeb's drive became somewhat of a family threat after his passing a few years later, as did Sarah's discomfort with the business. In the generations to come, a dogged dedication to the company or uh, Quen Quenziness? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. With their ill-gotten wolf became the two defining characteristics of the Thornton clan. Even the most beloved family members eventually had to choose a side. Okay, there's lore there. And this is espionage. Okay. In 1974, Ellie Whitney changed the course of U.S. history when he invented the cotton gin, a machine which performed the quick separation of cotton seeds from cotton itself. This labor-saving device revolutionized the plantation economy of the South, cementing its dependence on slavery and setting the country on the path to civil war. When the first shots of the war were fired in 1861, both the Union and the Confederacy turned to espionage to try and gain the upper hand. The famous generals and leaders of the war are well remembered today, but they couldn't have accomplished what they did without the female spies who played a shadowy part in obtaining state secrets. So these are who they are. Okay, I'm not going to read them all. These are more portraits. Oh wait, no, no. I want to get this fruits and make some tea. Add some sugar. Add a lemon. Add some lime. Stir and drink it. And perfect. 
All right. Go upstairs. Bag of cotton. Nothing here yet. Roger. The last flight of Karina and Dodge. Roger, Dodge as he was known to his friends, never let his difficulties stand in his way. As a child, he found he was defiant by a persistent stutter that would follow him throughout his life. He would often state that his difficulties with speech led him to be a somewhat shy child. He grew to be a bookish young man with a deep love for the language. I mean, of the language. Despite his great intelligence, he struggled to find his place in the world. That changed when he met Mariana in the spring of his freshman year. As a boy, he wrote in letters sent to a longtime friend, I felt sorry for myself because I couldn't speak. Now I only feel sorry for those who cannot listen. Mariana knows how to listen, and she's taught me how to be heard. By all accounts, Mariana was quite taken with Dodge immediately. According to an oft-told antidote, uh, Dodge once proclaimed he would love her until the day he could say her name without a single hesitation. On the spot, she declared that he was henceforth to call her Mariana Car Cariana. The joke solidified into nickname once the couple noticed the scandalized reaction she received from the stuffier members of the Thornton clan. Though it's a bit mischievous, Mariana was never quite in step with the rest of the family. She was known for her wicked sense of humor and often envied for the privileged position she held. Usually the first person that relatives would turn to for a problem, Mariana let the family through many troubled times. But the real trouble began on a stormy night in the middle of winter. Mariana had been asked to greet, meet with the head of a small agricultural company that Thornton Business had been hoping to acquire. The papers had been drawn up but there was some uncertainty on the part of the company owners. Uh, Magritte girl stock and grain. Mariana was tasked with asserting their worries and getting the papers signed. Roger, as usual, was at her side. When Keone guessed their last moments together, this we know. The small prop plane crashed in an empty field after running into an unexpectedly strong storm. All four passengers died on impact, along with a two-person flight crew. Those who knew the pair knew that at at the very least, they must have been relieved to have each other's company in those last moments as the plane fluttered down from the sky. Yeah, that is a sad story. Is that something I could take now? What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. I don't actually notice the smudge myself, but Nancy hmm. notices, so... Wait, hold on. Put, put that back. There's something back there. Of course there is. What is that? Are those graves? So there are some graves that we have to look. Of course. Hey! <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. You Hello, be. Wade. Are you the new assistant? What's his name get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. Ooh, drama. Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Definitely anyway, the dead. Savannah had a Definitely the dead. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Okay, I'll go grab it later. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Well, we have a lot to talk about. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jesselyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? 
Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk, but I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Well, if I had an option, I wouldn't go into that house either. But I don't have that option. I have to go in because I have to investigate. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, what is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. Ouch. But hey, there's a love story there. There's a love story there. You said you were researching the family. Why? I shipped them together, I do. Died. That's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I think I'll answer the safe option of I don't know. Oh, no. Yep, same here. It might be both. You don't have to be just one or the other. You know? Everyone is a bit of little both of them. Like, I would say I'm, I'm mostly good. Yeah, kind of leading gang, right? Mostly good with like just a drop of evilness. Just a tiny bit, tiny bit. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood and not always our own. And you think one part of the family had more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Goodbye. Bye. All right, goodbye. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. 
Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. That does suck for, for Clara not, not ever knowing who her father was. Which there's a really good like uh theory about uh Clara's father. And if you know, you know. It's pretty dark. That theory is pretty dark. Um and I, I, I think it's canon. I, I know uh the developers and stuff they they came out and said that uh that's not their intention they just wanted a mystery but in my head it's canon okay i don't like when game developers and creators just make a mystery just because they can and there's no answers or it leads to nowhere i don't like that i like to have conclusion for that right so for me i i i like would think that that theory is canon. You know, the one that uh, Clara's father is uh, actually a grandfather. Yeah, I, I think it's canon. It's just me. This is Ruby Newton. Why? Why are you not introducing? Is she not important? Is she not important? Fine. She's not important. Ethel May Newton. It's Harper. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. Okay. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Okay. I'm just gonna look at all the graves, because why not? That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Yeah, but 1968 to 1998. That's very young, actually. She did die like, really young. Imagine why no one expected it, especially if she's like healthy and strong. Yeah. Sarah Emma Thornton, not important enough for uh, the guy to introduce her. I forgot the name again. Wade. Wade, my bad. Wade. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. <laughs> and that's all I can say. Mean old codger. Yeah, I can't, I can't clean it with that. Okay. Okay. No, no. Okay. Have to do it later then. Lee Thornton. Virginia, Virginia Thornton. My mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her. And I always will. Okay. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart. And no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. 
still kind of creepy, though, that you bring your kid to the graves in the middle of the night. But at least that's just me. I don't like no cemetery at night. Okay, I looked at that already. Okay. Why does this one have this, like, stone thing on top and the rest doesn't? That's my question. Did that move? Did you just move? It probably did. I wasn't paying attention. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. Oh, yeah. The, 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 we read about their story earlier. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Blank stone and 54 souls. Okay, that's all that we can look at here. Nothing else here that we can look at. So. Talk to Wade again. Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out. That sounds like the goes from chat at the water's edge i found a set of graves without names on the markers that is where our troubles began what happened most of the family would rather it never come up our first factory was right here on the island at the time it made us a lot of money but along the way we got greedy never built a place for the workers to stay they'd bed down right on the processing floor Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. Ah, oh, damn. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Ouch. Yeah. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. Uh, of That's course. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys, and I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point the is, fried chicken. I like ghosts because they show me what uh, is. That's the only guy I know. I don't know anyone else. And I don't know don't poets. I'm stupid. sorry. Makes you smart if it's muddy. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. Uh, of course you don't. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. Okay, how do we know that he ended up in jail already? How do you know that, Nancy? You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but... I don't I know how Nancy found this out, but she way. found it out somehow. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks, hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad, locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. Right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. I mean, I'll be pissed I at Clara if I was him. 
Adios. He's trying to do a good thing and then he got punished for it. Damn Clara. Okay, found this. That's done. I need to charge the phone. Oh yeah, I need to charge the phone. Let's go charge that phone and grab Savannah's package. How about that? Uh, oranges. Recharge the battery. Oranges. Can't do that yet. Oh. All right. Let's see if all those oranges did the trick. It's not charged yet. Okay, I need to just let it charge. All right. And let's go upstairs and find that package. Great. Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking to Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jocelyn during the day. Can we even look for her during the day? It's nighttime all the time. Like, seriously. But night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits get restless. In more ways than one. You'll probably get more out of the family den anyway. The EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there is a strong correlation between the meter beacon and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm there if you need me. Good luck, Savannah. That's been a lot of reading. Okay. Let's read the first one. March 4th, subject swimmer. Type visual oral contact near death. I was 14. My younger brother was about 12 at the time. I was a bit of a scrawny kid and caught more than my fair share of trouble on the account of being the smallest. But I was no coward and I was itchy, itching to prove it. That's when I caught wind of Charlotte. I got it in my head that if I spent the night out at the island, the kids at school would leave me alone. Doesn't make sense now, but it made a lot of sense then. I made this big deal about sneaking onto the island, and everyone was interested. Especially my younger brother, Sean. He demanded to come, and to be honest, I was happy to have the company. We spent a while trying to get a boat, but no one wanted to land a boat to two kids in the middle of the night. Go figure, right? I knew if I didn't make it out there, I'll never hear the end of it. I made too big a deal out of the whole thing. I was locked in. That's when I decided that we should swim over. Anyone who grew up here knows that you don't do that. The swim's not too far, but the currents, they'll smash you on the rocks or they'll pull you under. That's exactly what happened to Sean. One second, he was next to me and the next gone. I panicked and dove into the water. Nothing. Again and again, nothing. But turns out he was fine. He, he made it to the shore. I was the one in trouble. I kept going under until I got disoriented. I couldn't find which way was up. I knew that was it for me. I knew I was going to die. And I could feel the fight going out of me. That's when I heard singing. The water around me went still. And a song started swimming its way around me. Pulling me towards this thing. This woman. Charlotte. The water was ice cold and she was turning it to steam. The smoke was pouring from her like ink under the water. I knew I couldn't die down there. I knew I had to get out of the water. I don't know what happened next. I woke up on the rocks, then in the hospital. I never saw her again. I spent the rest of my life trying not to look. Okay, next one, April 10th. Subject tagger. Type is oral and phantom snoke. No eye contact, possibly unreliable, not telling the entire story. Yeah, I saw her. Doesn't matter why I was there, let's just say I'm an artist. Unappreciated in my time and by the powers that be. I was out with a few writers I like to run with. Out of the ruins. Uh, Elle was working on her stuff like she always did. A little cute from my taste, but she is who she is. Suddenly she drops everything and is like, we gotta go right now. She said it like, no drill, just run. We grabbed our stuff and we ran. And we're going. That wasn't smoke. But we were all choking like there was. We all smell of fire, and in the distance we heard screaming. I wanted to go back, but Elle told me that what we heard wasn't human. We all knew she was right. We got off the island, that's what it was. And subject, old friend, non-haunt, skeptic, mild hesitation. 
I knew her. We came up in school together. She was the smartest, the prettiest, and nice. She didn't need to be, but she was. She talked to everyone about their lives, their families, their friends and families, and she could remember it all. We used to joke that she was the, she had the whole town in her head. Maybe it was more true than we thought. When she died, part of the town died with her. I know I want to ask about the hauntings. I'd rather you than someone else. I, you know, that stuff doesn't, doesn't sit well with me. Doesn't sit with me. I keep adding words, I'm sorry. But you come from good people. The truth is she's just gone. Part of me wishes she was a ghost so I could tell her my proper goodbyes. But anyway, that's silly for two reasons. She's been, since she's been made up to be such an angry ghost. I heard the story just like you did. That's not Charlotte. Not the Charlotte I've known. There was no evil in her. Do you think what happened the night she died might have changed that? It was an accident. What if it, should, what if it wasn't? Then she's Charlotte. She always was Charlotte. Okay. Did that. Uh, we can call people. Oh, settings. Cat scoop. Finster River Heights. Yeah, there's not much. Uh, I like Finster. Let's go with Finster. Get a standard. It is very quiet. Yeah, this is quiet too. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's let's play something. Let's play a game or something because I haven't been doing anything but talking. I've just been talking a lot. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, then let's call people. Let's call Savannah first. Hi, Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? Yes. I think they're silly, but apparently some of the people I've met swear by using EMF signatures on the property. Okay, so thanks for the package and the EMF gadget. What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gallery proof. If they're not, guess I'll go teach. What are you going to go teach? Teach what? I want to know. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there... I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only met one. Charlotte. Charlotte. Be of the course, one. Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. Mm-hmm. I spoke to Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. And then? But then? But then I got scared. What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Yeah, well, I can't blame her because they... Yeah. Goodbye. Y'all be careful now. Yeah, they're creepy. I mean, I, I like Wade, but Clara. Clara's been intense. Addison. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Of course it yes. is. I can't. I'm sorry. 
the sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. That's fast, but yeah, lots of talking for this is going to be a conversation. How's Jessalyn's video relationship like, for those of you watching on YouTube? Okay. Oh, Maybe conversation for this one. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. Okay. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. Okay, so he, he's a pretty nice guy. It's good to know. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it. But I couldn't tell you where it is. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. It made sense. At first, it was really yeah, fun. Yeah, that's definitely weird. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Strange how? Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. It must really? be like Claire. Uh, no, not Clara. Uh, Charlotte's room. Eyes on me all night long. Probably Charlotte's room. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. Okay. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. If it was me, I'd be terrified. She Being alone in a scary, creepy house like that. Talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. Why is this an option? Like so long after she said things got strange. You said things got. Oh, strange. brother, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Okay. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there. It would surprise me if there weren't. I mean, it would surprise me if there's no secret tunnels in an Easter Drew game. Find so there's that. definitely going to be some. Hey, get ready! <gasps> Charlotte! What was that? It was Charlotte! Enter her room, yeah. Of course, we can't. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay, anything else? Is her phone ready yet? It's not charged yet. Of course, it's not charged yet. Okay. Did that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Check. Can't check that off yet. Okay. I 
anything else I miss? I keep feeling I miss stuff. shovel thing nothing here yeah I can look at okay okay talk to people hey what do you think of Clara she's she's just a little severe until you get to know her and then I wouldn't know you're holding something back so what if I am? Okay, yeah, no, wait. My my window's pretty small. I'm playing window mode. If I put it like hold on, if I put it like full screen, can you guys still see it? Yeah, you can. Okay. That's good. The window is too small, my bad, sorry. Don't want to go in the house? Don't blame you. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day. It's and too thought, hard for me to see. This is my the bad. girl I'm gonna marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there? We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... Okay. Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Nancy, it's pretty obvious what she means. Like, literally. Wait, why are you so, like... Okay. Hello, rabbit camp. Welcome, welcome, rabbit. Do you welcome know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually, didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. What am I supposed to do? Greystone Epitaph. I might have my notes with me. Because if it isn't obvious, yeah, I played this game before. <laughs> on amateur sleuth mode. I never play on master sleuth. But yeah, I have the answers with me. <laughs> So I, I already solved the epitaph hunt thing. But maybe the game wants me to go look at the graves. I can always go look at them again. Maybe it'll trigger something. Just, yeah, let's do that. Charlotte, Sarah, this is over. I, I could clean the end of that, yeah. I really want to clean it because it looks dirty. Okay. Rosalie. Ruby. I don't know if this is going to help. If anything. I'm just trying to trigger something. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. 
I better check out what's going on upstairs. Okay, somehow Nancy knows something happened upstairs. Oh, that's a letter. Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Okay, so even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Beside a ride with Jeff Meter, where Jeff Meter is at its peak, make yourself blind, don't dare peek, call Charlotte home and hear her speak. She may let you live. Okay. Need something here. One well, here, make some more tea. All right. I think here to look at. I don't think so. Do we know what the rhyme is yet? Maybe we can ask Wade about that. Ugh, you scared me. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to scare you. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the story started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her... It messed the ones them up who real found her. Good. A couple even went into shock. Of course. Savannah said Charlotte was supposedly a ghost. Huh. <laughs> not supposedly. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, reality isn't that simple. Have you ever actually seen this ghost? This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, and yes. I saw her. I mean, yeah, he I probably saw her did up. saw her. I was here the night she died, and I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. Yeah, I, Nancy can't deny that. He, she, he probably did see her a lot. I mean, they're family after all. I saw something I can't explain in the house. Yeah. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. See you later. Bye. I mean, I imagine the place would have been pretty if, like, it was, like, back in its prime day. You know, if it's, like, well kept and dolled up and stuff, it would have, been look it would have looked a lot nicer. Nancy. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. I'm sorry, Clara. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> Nancy, for some reason, like for some reason, has clairvoyant powers. And so she already asked Wade about the time he spent in jail. And he already told her. About the time he spent in jail. So he did tell me, actually. Yeah, he did tell me much earlier. <laughs> I don't know how Nancy found out he went to jail, but yeah, we already know. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Well, Clara, everyone's nice when they want to be. Everyone can be a bitch when they want to be. <laughs> okay? It just depends on the person and who they're dealing with in their mood. You know, not everyone's always nice. It's just how humans are. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. I ought to talk to you. Did you have you. more to say? Yes, I do. I have a lot more to say. Look at that. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. 
Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. You meant no well, he please. You, he broke the law. He broke into the factory. He damaged thousands of dollars of equipment and scared the workers half to death. Yeah, the workers were you trapped in the factory all locked up. He freed their asses because you chained up the freaking door. I mean, sorry, like, he may have broke the law, but so did you. I don't think, like, locking people in against their will is, a, is like, legal. Like, seriously, Clara, seriously. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though, and he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges. You planned on dropping the charges? I lost like, fuck you. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. Can you blame him, though? You cost an innocent man who wanted to free the workers of his own family, like, from his, like, own company, like, and factory, free. And you think he's not going to be angry at you for that? Like, you're the one who technically, I would say, has more fault that this than the guy who wanted to free innocent people. <laughs> Seriously. I even... Oh, it's stupid. Also, oh, ads coming up soon. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn Just in case, to get back anyone wants to know. But he'd never do something like that. I mean... I don't think. No, let's hope not, because I like Wade. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. Okay. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please. Just leave me be. What? You... Yes. Yeah. I've heard about the ghost. I won't talk to you, jeez. Talk to me. Real, Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as he used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. Yeah, that it's, was like, back it's when not Thornton something Hall like normal pretty. parents would tell the kids, I now, imagine. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Yeah, that's definitely... Did your mother say much else about the ghosts this here? It's a creepy place Too to much. be in. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty, until they forget everything that made them human. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. The others? The lost souls. From an accident that happened here years back, Mama called them hungry shadows why i don't want to know she said they were all tangled together lost and scared and mean my mama was a good woman but dang if she didn't scare me half to death with irregularity see you yeah, later it's bye your mom's something i don't think most mothers would tell kids scary stories like that but then again that is like family history. Your family has like some fucked up history. Okay, so I can go back and talk to Wade. I want to finish that conversation with the him being in jail thing. Hi. Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Don't believe that. Why not? Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. That was the price of hearing about home. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, that, now see? Clara, you're such a bitch. Don't do that. I mean, for one, you already, like, trapped people in a factory. Locked them up against their will. 
okay? The sweet, innocently good guy, Wade, tried to free them, and then you caused him to go to jail. I'm, I'm assuming that he paid the judge off or something, okay? Like, she, she paid the judge off, he got jailed, and then she came to laugh at him about it, like, in your face, some kind of thing. Like, come on, don't be such a bitch. Although, granted, she is such a bitch because it already happened. So, she's just the bitch of the family. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if Justin just ran away and be like, fuck, I don't want to be around my mom anymore. <laughs> such an ass. Right? I'm sure that's what happened, okay? Really, because, come on, who want to be family with someone like her? Jeez. What can you tell me about Charlotte? Charlotte was something special. They call out. Just yes, like I'm going to call out. She calling out Claire. Beautiful voice. When she sang, it was like sunlight busting through fog. Sounds like you were close. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. Yeah, that's creepy. What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Plane crash. Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. Bad blood brings bad luck. That's the most funny thing that Nancy asked this question because when we look at the graves earlier, uh, Wade tells us uh, who, like, Clara and, uh, oh, no, not Clara, who Charlotte and Hupper's, uh, parents are. I reread about their accident in the book uh, back in the house. I don't know why she's asking again, like, what happened to their parents? You know what happened to their parents. Why do you want to have someone spell it out for you? It's very obvious what happens. Like, why do you need to know more than that? Why do you have to have someone say plane crash? It's kind of similar to when, like, in Trail of the Twister, when Nancy reads up on the newspaper about what happens to Ma, and she just have to ask Pa that question. Knowing what happens to, to Ma already, she she wants to ask that question. And I know someone's going to say that, you know, it's the players that can make the choice of whether they want to ask that question or not. But that's because it's a game for us. But, like, if you look at it in, like, a... In Nancy's perspective, where to her, this is her real world, right? So... She, in game canon wise like in her role she asked that question like you know of hey what happened to ma like why would you do that the only thing that makes it better this time around is that she's asking wade she's not asking like claire or Har like charlotte or harper although then again charlotte and harper isn't here yet <laughs> i'm sure if they are standing right here you know like harper just sitting there she's gonna be asking about that like if she had a choice Cause Nancy is that kind of person, and this is stupid. I don't know what is what is with my game that it's like going out of order, okay? But this question of is it question is it true that you have a questionable past? Like you already know his questionable past. <laughs> he told you everything. Why do you want to ask this again? Is it true that you? Oh have my a God, Nancy! Past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. My game is like fucking up. Okay, what? I don't know what it is about. It's not the a game. fun place, and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I you already know. know how she went to jail. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid. That's all. Was it anything, something that would make you a danger to someone like Jesslyn? Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go, go on, get. Goodbye. Yeah. I don't know what it is about my game. It was like, Nancy already know what happens with his why and why he's in jail. Like, why do you keep asking him those questions? Jeez. Keep bothering, like, he keep bothering him, you know? It's so weird. And okay. That's almost off the charts. This must be the okay, place. So we gotta meet uh, the ghost. That's done. Oh, is the phone's charged? I can check that off too. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. All right. So you know what? Let's check out the phone. Mm, looks like I need to figure out the password.